in your health, keeping your kids out of the nurse's office this winter. And News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa with what parents can do to help keep their kids healthy. The frigid cold we had recently prompted some schools to send a letter home reminding parents what to do to keep their child from heading to the nurse's office. Harsh winds and bitter temperatures, a tough combination especially among the most vulnerable. This cold and um, dry weather that we've been having for such a long period of time, I think, you know, it's kind of record-breaking, can always cause some um, health nuances that kids aren't used to. Prompting many to head to the nurse's office. School nurse supervisor Linda Kaufman oversees the five schools in Haddam and Killingworth. Every season brings its own complex of, of things that we see in the health offices. In harsh wintry conditions, school nurses see an increase in dry skin related issues. If their skin is dry and they're itchy, then they're going to be focusing on that itchy skin in the classroom instead of the lesson that's being taught. So have plenty of lotion and lip balm handy. If you have dry skin, it leaves an avenue for bacteria, you know, to get into those little cracks and cause a problem. Be sure sensitive skin areas like hands and ears are covered. Oh, and don't forget the sunscreen. The snow is a great reflector for the sun, so kids are just as at risk for sun issues during the winter time as they are in the summertime. This is the time of year kids are reminded of the no touch zone. Don't touch your nose, don't touch your mouth with your fingers because those are areas where bacteria can enter the body or viruses can enter the body and cause a more serious problem for the child. Look over there. This group of young eagle watchers taking part in a Manchester Youth Service Bureau program well prepared for this outing. They dress in layers, they take their coats off when they get into the car, they put them back on when they get out of the car so that there's not, you know, that constant yeah. temperature change. But Heather Wachowski, who is in charge, says youngsters still need convincing. No, they don't listen. <laughs> they don't listen, but you know what? They do a really good job with when you really tell them the reason why. And I think that's what's really important about it is making sure that they understand why we're asking them to do what they're doing. Kids do need more guidance, especially the younger ones. So Linda Kaufman recommends if you think your child is not feeling well and should stay home, ask open-ended questions, not those yes or no questions. It may save you from getting that call from the school nurse. Jocelyn Mementa, News 8.